Young man married an old millionaire lady for her money, but he never imagined that she would this. David Miller, at the cusp of his 25th year, carries an air of entitlement shaped by a youth cocooned in comfort and indulgence, courtesy of his doting relatives. This upbringing left him with a deep-seated aversion to the conventional toil of daily employment, a concept as foreign to him as the farthest stars. The notion of dedicating himself to the grind to earn his place in the world through sweat and perseverance was loathing to David. His life thus far had been a testament to avoiding such realities, a dance around the edges of responsibility and ambition. Into this carefully curated existence stepped Eleanor, a figure of grace and accumulated wealth, a widow whose very aura spoke of refined tastes and the quiet power of self-made success. Her dignity and the subtle display of her wealth were beacons to David, illuminating a path to the lifestyle he coveted but was unwilling to work for. The allure of her world, so effortlessly elegant, so starkly contrasting with the efforts required to attain it, became an obsession for David. Seizing upon the opportunity, David crafted a persona of charm and potential, a mask that hid his disdain for labor and his hunger for ease. With calculated moves, he positioned himself within Eleanor's orbit, securing employment at her company. This was no ordinary job to David, but a stepping stone to the opulent future he envisioned. The company, a titan in the electronic equipment industry, became the stage on which David performed the role of the ambitious, capable young professional, all the while eyeing the wealth and security Eleanor personified. His strategy was one of infiltration, through admiration and perceived kinship, weaving himself into the fabric of Eleanor's daily life with compliments and small acts of service, each moment meticulously planned to endear him further to her. David's charm was his weapon, wielded with precision to mask his true intentions. In Eleanor's company, he saw not a person but a key to the vault of his dreams, where labor was unnecessary and luxury was boundless. As David took his first steps into Eleanor's world, he was blind to the depth of character and insight behind her poised exterior. To him, she was the means to an end, a life of ease just within reach, if only he could play his cards right. Unaware of the lessons in integrity and consequence that lay ahead, David embarked on this venture with a heart hardened by entitlement and eyes fixed on the mirage of a life earned not by merit but by manipulation. David, with his smooth charm and carefully curated persona of dedication, weaved himself into the very fabric of Eleanor's life, both professionally and personally. His every action, draped in the guise of attention and affection, was designed to enchant Eleanor, a woman whose life was a mosaic of success and solitude. David's gestures, grand in their execution and seemingly sincere, began to color the corners of Eleanor's world with the promise of companionship and the warmth of shared laughter. The air around them hummed with the potential of something deeper, something lasting, as Eleanor found herself drawn into the orbit of David's charisma. In the dance of their evolving relationship, David played the part of the enamored suitor with a master's touch. He filled their time together with moments that sparkled with the sheen of affection, from quiet dinners under the canopy of stars to the spontaneous adventures that seemed to whisper of a future rich in joy and togetherness. Eleanor, with a heart seasoned by experience yet vulnerable to the sweet allure of attention, found herself captivated, swept up in the whirlwind of David's affectionate displays. It was a whirlwind that, in a moment of heartfelt sincerity, or so it seemed, led her to propose marriage, envisioning a life shared with the man who had seemingly become her confidant, her companion. Yet beneath the surface of this blooming romance, a shadow lingered, cast by the flickers of doubt that gnawed at Eleanor's mind. David's seamless integration into her life, his readiness to fill the roles she had silently longed for, began to raise silent alarms. There were moments, fleeting and brushed aside, where the mask of David's devotion seemed to slip, revealing glimpses of a man driven by motives darker than love. His extravagant spending, a stark contrast to Eleanor's measured approach to wealth, hinted at desires that aligned not with companionship but with greed. 
Eleanor, a wisdom honed by years of steering her empire through storms, began to listen to the whispers of doubt that threaded through her thoughts. The grandeur of David's gestures, once dazzling, now flickered with the cold light of scrutiny. As he stood at the precipice of a shared future, the seeds of suspicion took root, casting a shadow over the bright tapestry of their relationship. Unseen by David, Eleanor's heart battled between the warmth of affection and the chilling touch of doubt, a battle that promised to shape their destinies in ways neither could foresee. The air in Eleanor's estate, once thick with the perfume of romance and the promise of shared futures, grew tense and heavy with suspicion. Eleanor, guided by a gut feeling that whispered of deceit, took a step cloaked in shadow and discretion. She enlisted the services of a private detective. This decision, made in the quiet solitude of her study, was a silent admission of the cracks forming in the foundation of her relationship with David. As the detective delved into the hidden corners of David's life, the truth that emerged was a stark, unforgiving light revealing the depth of his betrayal. Infidelity, a word that Eleanor had never thought to associate with David, became the harsh reality she had to face. The man she had opened her heart to, envisioned a future with, had been lavishing another with gifts bought with her fortune. Each revelation was a blow, dismantling the illusion of love and loyalty piece by piece, leaving her trust in ruins. The moment of confrontation was inevitable. Eleanor, armed with the undeniable evidence of David's duplicity, faced him. The man who stood before her with eyes still trying to shimmer with feigned innocence was a stranger. His charm, once captivating, now repulsed her, a veneer that thinly veiled his true intentions. Eleanor's heart, once warm with affection, turned cold with resolve. With a voice steady with determination, she severed his access to her life and wealth, a decisive strike to protect her legacy from the man who sought to drain it. David's facade began to crumble under the weight of his exposed deceit. Attempts to weave explanations and assurances fell on deaf ears. His words empty echoes in the vastness of his treachery. Eleanor's decisiveness left him isolated, a pariah in the world he had sought to manipulate for his gain. As she moved to fortify her assets and ensure her empire's security, David was left to watch his carefully laid plans disintegrate. The fallout was a testament to Eleanor's strength, a demonstration of her unwillingness to be victimized. In her actions, she reclaimed her autonomy, making it clear that her trust, once betrayed, was irrevocably broken. David, ensnared in the web of his own making, found himself facing a future devoid of the wealth and comfort he had so unscrupulously sought, his ambitions undone by the very hands that had sought to claim them. In the solemn quiet of her office, Eleanor sat, the soft light casting shadows over the documents that would seal her legacy. Each word she penned was a testament to her resolve, a final stand against the betrayal that had sought to undermine her life's work. Her will, once a document that intertwined her fortune with David's future, was now a beacon of her enduring spirit and benevolence. With deliberate strokes, Eleanor redirected her substantial wealth to the creation of a foundation dedicated to uplifting underprivileged children. It was her defiance, her declaration, that her legacy would sow seeds of hope and opportunity rather than feed the greed of a man unworthy of her trust. As the day dawned to unveil the contents of Eleanor's revised will, the air was thick with anticipation. David, clinging to the vestiges of hope, sat among the gathered, his eyes betraying a flicker of desperation. The lawyer's voice, clear and unwavering, broke the silence, weaving through the clauses that dismantled David's aspirations piece by piece. Eleanor's fortune, a towering testament to her life's work, would not be his. Instead, it would flow into channels that nurtured futures, kindled dreams, and built bridges for those standing on the fringes of society. The moment the lawyer presented the symbolic gift to David, a simple espresso cup, the room seemed to stand still. It was a harbinger of his downfall, an emblem of the bitter taste of his own machinations. This cup, reminiscent of their first encounter, now embodied the full circle of his deceit and its repercussions. David's hands trembled as he took it, 
the cool porcelain a stark contrast to the heat of shame that flushed his face. The murmurs that filled the room seemed distant as he grappled with the magnitude of his loss. Eleanor's strategic foresight had not only safeguarded her assets, but it also ensured that David's treachery was laid bare for all to see. His reputation, once polished by charm and calculated gestures, was now tarnished by the truth of his actions. The community that once welcomed him with open arms now turned their backs, leaving him to wander in the shadow of his own greed. The news of Eleanor's passing came as a somber chord in the symphony of the aftermath. She had departed this world with the tranquility of knowing her legacy would kindle light in the darkest corners of society. David, left to reckon with the silence of her absence, found himself confronting the void within, a chasm deepened by the realization of what his greed had cost him. The legacy he had sought to claim was now a mirage, dissipated by the clarity of Eleanor's final wishes. In the solitude of his reflections, David was confronted with the stark truth of his existence. The legacy Eleanor left behind, a flourishing testament to compassion and integrity, stood in stark contrast to the ruin of his own making. It was a lesson etched in the annals of his life, a reminder of the price of greed and the value of genuine virtue. As he gazed upon the espresso cup, the weight of his choices settled upon him a burden he would carry as a reminder of the woman who had taught him the most valuable lesson of all, the enduring power of integrity over deceit.